He was the brains behind the carry-on camera. You may not know his name, but he made you laugh. I mean, they're being such delicate and refined girls. When they weren't working, they were sitting around in their chairs, laughing and joking. And sometimes they would come down, whether they were called or not, just to be with their friends. It was, um, Joan Sims used to say, it was like going back to school. <laughs> Peter Rogers used to joke the genre was the same film with a different title. God, there are no devils in skirts to frighten you now. But it didn't stop the audience coming back for more. The films were made in six weeks. Rogers drew inspiration by lying in the bath. Oh, I don't know, though. Now, really, let's see those chests come out. What really came out was clean family entertainment. And in. And <laughs> For a period, Peter Rogers undoubtedly defined the fabric of British culture. Its effects are still felt today. Infamy, infamy, they've all got it in for me. They had an innocence. Oh, my friend. Funky Howard, even, I suppose, really. Um, his was always Uervica, wasn't it? But of course, nothing lasts forever. Carry On's popularity waned in the 1970s and modern remakes were panned by the critics. But Peter Rogers can rest in peace knowing he made the world laugh. That's the background now. Peter Rogers was really the driving force behind getting the Carry On films off the ground, wasn't he, Leslie? Yes, I suppose he was, yes, yes. He was um, a very extraordinary man, really. We, we ran a quote earlier of you saying that a lot of money was made but you guys didn't get much of it. Yes, I, I, I made the rather smart little remark. I said he made people <laughs> famous, but he didn't make them wealthy. Different days then, I suppose, working for the studios. You, the, the stars weren't quite the, the multi-millionaires they are nowadays. I don't think they've ever been millionaires, actors. <laughs> Some of them Footballers, are. yes. Yeah, well, certainly nowadays. And your early ones, you were in Carry On Constable, weren't you? And Carry On Nurse, your famous well, catch Well, Nurse was the, was the big hit. Yeah. And then, of course, I did... Um, I also worked with, with uh, Peter Rogers' wife, uh, Betty Box. And she did all the, the, um, the medical ones, you know. Yeah, but I think we can, have, we can have a little we, look at... We've got a clip of you as a policeman constable. way back when. Let's have oh. a, a, a look and a listen at this. Buddy darling! An Oreo old thing. Haven't seen you since Fruity Father of Gill's pyjama party. I say, what are you doing here? What is this? A rag? Oh, rather not. I'm in the force. What are the cops? <laughs> what fun! <laughs> I, I'd like you to meet my new chums. Timothy Gorse, Charlie, Stanley Benson... Oh. Sergeant Wilkins. Uh, many of your fans will be wondering whether that kiss was in the script or you just went for it, Leslie. Oh, I get the, all the kisses I can get. You're quite away with the ladies, don't you? Yes, I suppose so. <laughs> it must have been a tough job. Yes, yes. <laughs> what, what sort of memories have you I got? I managed that. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you do. And you look very well on it. Uh, what sort of memories have you got working with the various teams in those days? Well, only nothing but very happy memories with the, with the team. I, I hate teams, actually. Um, <laughs> I did a, a very long team job with the Navy Lark, which went on for 18 years or something. Sunday lunchtime, wasn't it? Sunday, I yes. I loved it. Yes, and that was great with John Pertwee and, and some marvellous people and um, uh, famous people. They all became famous. You, you yeah. alluded to the happiness, but there are quite a few sad characters in the carry-on, weren't there? I mean, Kenneth Williams, later revealed, was a troubled man. Charles Hawtrey as well. Were you always happy as you looked? Um, well, you're as happy as you make it, aren't you? I mean, there are no rules about this. But did you, did you pick up on the atmosphere when you were working with those people, or were they, you know, uh, jolly on set and... Uh troubled in their private lives well I th I don't think it's uh, with I I was mystified by by Kenny Connor Kenny Kenny Williams Kenny Connor was my favorite 
He was, I think, very, very successful, a very good actor and a lovely guy, you know, very straightforward. When news got out in our newsroom that you were coming in, mm. there was a real excitement. What sort of reaction do you get when the public see you? Um, well, it depends how much they want. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, uh, the thing is, I do quite a lot of charities, and, um, so, and I'm a director of a famous charity, uh, in fact, two famous charities, and, um, and I've got on well with the Queen. You know. Not many you people can say that. that. Well, it, we're, we're next door neighbours for <laughs> birthday, aren't we? In, in closing, she, she the twenty first. Is she? <laughs> in closing yes. this interview, may I just say to you, Her Majesty sends her best regards. She's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> she gave me my OBE and my CBE. You've Congratulations well. yeah. on them yeah. both. A delight to meet you, Leslie. Thank you so much, and uh, long may you Great. continue, dear yes. boy. Thanks. Thanks. Absolutely Thanks. Not too long, I hope. Well, no, you carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, carry on indeed.